Hey, what's up fam? It's your boy the Sam and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys might have seen in the title of this video, I will be doing a Q&A with the Sam. So, you guys have asked the questions, I'm here to answer them. Okay, so I'm doing things a little bit different today. Uh, I'm not just going to answer questions, but I'm also going to showcase something I made earlier today, or I made, <laughs> I made a few minutes ago rather. Uh, I like to call it a, a, sugar, a sugar French. So as you can see, uh, it's basically French toast, but it's a non-savory version, and I use raisin bread. And after frying it, I dusted it in a little bit of cinnamon sugar, and now I'm going to serve it with some sweetened whipped cream. And it's been infused with some almond essence to give it some extra decadence. So let's add some cream on there. Oh yeah, guys. This is inspired by what I like to call a mukbang. It's basically... <laughs> it's basically translated to eating broadcast so basically someone sits behind the camera or sorry they sit in front of the camera and they just devour food like there's no tomato sometimes there's a huge mic that just picks up all that nasty sound so none of that today let's try it out let's see if it's actually good you know what take a piece Quick and see. Quick and see. Whoop. Whoops. Someone went commando. Okay. Let's get in there. Let's try it out. Wow. This is quite good actually. That almond essence really hit the spot. Really added a million dollar kick to this whole meal. Okay guys, so please don't hate me for eating in front of you. I did tell you before the time this is going to be, you know, a food inspired channel as well. Not only nursing, but cooking and food. So expect to see a lot of food. Expect to see a lot of eating happening in this video. Um, so yes, let's get going with the questions. Okay, so question one. Uh, we have Paul Bachis and he asked... Oh wait, Paul Bachis is actually an old chef colleague of mine from back in the day when I started... When I was studying as a chef. We worked together at the Taj Hotel. And he was a great mentor. Taught me a lot of good things, life lessons I, I would say. So, Paul, if you're listening out there, thank you for that. So, Paul's question was, did you always know you wanted to be a nurse? Uh, in fact, in actual fact, no. I always wanted to be a chef. He knows this. And cooking was the main thing I saw myself doing growing up. And nursing, unfortunately, wasn't something... I'd ever imagine myself doing right now. So yeah, I hope that answers your question, Paul. Okay, question two was from Nicole Morris. She wanted to know, is there anything that you are scared of facing in the nursing industry? That's a good question. I would say yes. Big, big yes. I mean, there's a lot of fear in the medical profession as a whole. And I feel like it comes in stages. For myself personally, as a nursing student, it starts obviously it started as a first year nursing student where you don't know anything at all I know a lot of nursing students can agree with me you don't know what to expect because you've never worked in a hospital before you've never worked with an actual live patient and, uh, but my, my, one of my biggest fears definitely when I started out was working with really sick patients you know working close to patients with infectious diseases I mean contacting an illness it's scary, especially if you don't know what it is or if it's deadly. 
like, I mean, it's very, uh, very relevant in today's life right now, or in the times we are living in. I mean, we are literally living in a pandemic. We are living with a virus that is literally attacking people. People are dying, and I feel that fear is quite relevant right now with many of our medical professions that are on the front line. Because, I mean, they are, I bet they're all afraid of actually contracting COVID-19. And, I mean, that's a scary thought. I know that is one of the biggest fears, I guess, we all have. And then I will remember when I was promoted to second year. What happens in second year, you are able to now administer medication. So you start learning all the types of medication that are out there. And you are now, it's in your scope to administer medication to your patients. Obviously under supervision most of the time. So, I mean, I feel like this is still a relevant fear with all doctors and nurses, even qualified ones, that you are afraid of giving them the wrong medication that could potentially kill them, if not worse, can't think of worse than death. But giving them the wrong dosage perhaps, I mean, that's a big fear that many people should have out there working with patients and deadly medication so that is definitely one of my biggest fears as well so that's a nicole morris on the fear section okay so question three we have amy milan and amy milan is a classmate of mine that i'm friends with and she's also obviously a nursing student there okay so amy milan asks how do you juggle studies and personal life oh forgot about my food guys mom always told me not to waste okay so to be honest Amy I'm not good at juggling my personal life and my study life most of the time I would choose well done to <laughs> my personal life i tend to be very distracted from my studies most of the time um it takes me it takes a lot for me to actually get in the get in the game to focus and actually you know decide okay i have work to do i have to study this weekend um study and not go out or whatever but so it is kind of difficult to for a lot of people to juggle their studies in personal life because at the end of the day especially when you are studying at university and you are busy doing a degree, you know. I can tell you something, when you're in university, you tend to, your life is just, it's just a mess. Any university student can tell you that many of my classmates that are watching this now will, will agree with me and especially for nursing, nursing students, it's a tough life, it's not easy. That is why I think it's important to to, to focus on your studies I know I'm going away from the point because the question was how do I juggle how, I don't know how I juggle my studies I guess I'm just I've always been a studious kind of person so I tend to just study all the time I guess to to now answer your question full out prioritization is very important with anything in life you need to prioritize put what's important first on top of your list and work your way down make time for yourself this is very important to all the nurses out there all the nursing students all the prospective nursing students as well or any people anyone that studies that's in university you need to make time for yourself to prevent yourself from burning out because you you are human you're not a, you're not a robot you know obi-wan kenobi is no longer with us so you need to remember you are human you need to take a break you need to sit down drink a cup of coffee put your feet up have a slice of French toast if you have to and reboot yourself I mean this is one quote that I, I like a lot it's if you're tired don't give up just take a break so yeah okay so for question four Amy had another question and she asked do you experience any discrimination or any stigmas from anyone or any patient and how do you deal how do you deal with it? Okay, so to be honest, I, excuse me, I've actually never ex experienced discrimination. Okay, so next we have question five, and this is from Jamie Weingard. 
he is a celebrity guys he doesn't want to admit but he's a celebrity and i'm honored to have him ask me a question so his question is <laughs> what is it like to put in a catheter so i assume he is obviously referring to a urine cath a urinal catheter or what they call a foley catheter so it's a little pipe that they put in the urethra of either penis or vagina and that is usually inserted for the reason of either person is incontinent they can't urinate or micturate as we were told to say in our nursing exams and or they undergone they underwent like a, a major surgery or anything like any anything that could compromise the use of the bladder on their own and okay so i've never put in a catheter on a female patient before there's been close calls <laughs> there was this one elderly lady uh, that required a urinal catheter and i was you know ready to go ready to put it in on the ball and she said she told the one nurse that she prefer if i not do it because she was too scared of what i would of how i'd react when i would look at the potpourri used to be roses but now potpourri so um <clears throat> She was ashamed of her, her parts and didn't want me to have a look at it. So that was a miss. But I did put it in, I put it in males before. I think I've only done it three times. Um, what is it like <laughs> being a male with a, a, that certain part of your body? It's, it's like as I put in the pipe, I feel, I feel what they feel. So it's a very, it's a very uncomfortable feeling, obviously, but it's also very uncomfortable to watch sometimes. But after a while, you get used to putting it in, you know. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and I just feel like Jamie's laughing right now. Then question six, we have Z Kondo. Kondo. Uh, A.K.A. Kondo. My, one of my classmates as well. One of my friends as well from the nursing life. She asks... Describe a memorable patient experience or patient care experience from your clinical placements. That is a very good question. I've experienced many moments with patients that I've actually connected to, connected with her. The one patient was an elderly lady and she is the sweetest thing on the planet. I mean, one touch and you're diabetic. We were appointed to that room and I would just, you know, assist mostly wherever she needed help. And I, I had to go on lunch and she, I told her I can't wait to come back so we can talk again, carry on with our business, you know, kind of stories. So she, when I came back, I found out that she had passed away. So that was very sad because never before have I connected so deeply with a patient only to come back from lunch, I mean, less than an hour later, to find that she passed. Oh, that was really sad. Yeah, that's for Zee Kondo. Okay, so our final question is from Michaela Simon, aka Queen Mickey. As you can see there, she, <laughs> she has her own channel as well. Very funny. Uh, you should check out her YouTube channel. This, her, the link to her channel will be in my description. So check that out. And she asked... Also a classmate, my dad, and a friend, and she wants to know what part of nursing do you like and why did you choose it? <laughs> so irritating me. Um, so, by the way, did you notice how little I said um throughout this video compared to my first video? <laughs> Moving upwards in life, eh? So what part of nursing do you like and why did you choose it? So, so far, as a third year nursing student, I've really enjoyed trauma. Trauma, or the emergency unit, or ER, emergency room, whatever you want to call it. It's been, it was one of my, one of the things I couldn't wait for as a nursing student to do or to work in the trauma unit. Because everything is fast paced, everything's hap everything is just, you know, zoom, zoom, blood is there. Someone is 
choking there, like someone is having a seizure there. I, this is things I've actually experienced. Person coming in and suddenly they just start seizing on the ground and you just like, what do you do? You just have to, you get to think on your feet. You get to, you, get to, you know, get in a, in, in a state of, what do I do now? Quick, quick, quick. I have less than five seconds to think of what to do next. So trauma unit is very interesting because you, it's life or death. So sometimes you get to do things that are not even in your scope and or you get to see things you don't usually see in a normal or regular ward so it is very valuable in a way that you get to learn a lot so trauma for me has been a great experience i really like trauma but okay michael i hope that answers your question okay guys so i just want to thank everybody that took the time to ask me a question i really do appreciate it it was great participation on your side so yeah, thank you guys for asking these questions. I hope you learned a little bit more about me and about nursing in general as well. So yeah, so that's it for today fam. Until my next video, peace out from your boy the Sam. I will be doing a Q and A with Miss. Okay, so next we have question what what number are we on it? So next week is why did I choose what I like? Or why did why do I like what I like? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> why do I like what I like? So damn I ruined that question. I'm oh, sorry. Guys, the next video to come after this is gonna be fun. So it's gonna be something really exciting, something not nursing, something not medical related. It's gonna be fun so just a sneak peek of what you should expect in the next video